Hi guys and welcome to this video. I am returning to one of my favorite subjects and that is aquatic life. In other words, orcas. I have just been in such a mood to draw them recently and I just can't deny, deny the will to draw orcas because orcas has always been a part of my life and never seen one in real life. Uh, but since I was little, when I first saw Free Willy in 1993 I think, I have just been in love with orcas and even as a child, a young, young child, as I saw the movie, I started to draw orcas because they were just so beautiful and they are just such a spiritual animal and they inspire me on so many levels and they are just gorgeous and I love to draw blue. The color blue is just well, it's my favorite color, one of them, but yeah, so it's no question that orcas is one of my favorite uh, animals to draw because the the blue uh, shades you can accomplish underneath the water they are just so beautiful and I love the hue and the um, and the rich uh, richness of the blue it's really really gorgeous so to draw orcas I don't know I just love it and I love the animals they are so amazing really really amazing I mean I have always said that I want to go and see orcas sometimes and well the closest place I have to see orcas is in Norway and then you see them in their real and proper habitats so someday I will go to Norway just to go out and see orcas because I, I just have to see orcas I just have to see them, they are, yeah, I've already said it, they are amazing, but it, but it's the truth. So yeah, anyway, uh, end of rambling there, uh, let's talk about a little bit of this piece. I was googling a little bit, uh, some photos of uh, whales, and I found one of a humpback whale, and it was just so inspiring to look at that one. I found the inspiration for the background with a little bit of a tilted angle to the camera with a, within uh, with citation quotes, citation, something like that. Yeah. And I just wanted to use that background, so I used that one as a reference, and then I just looked at orca pictures, and then I just uh, put together something from different references of orcas into one orca. So there are multiple references in this one, but for the background it's just one and I have just removed the humpback whale and just replaced it with an orca instead. And that is one way you can just take different references and crea create something entirely new. You don't always have to and you really shouldn't take reference from just one photo or one picture. It's always great to combine several references because that that's when you can create something new that doesn't look like the original piece. So that is something I really recommend. I often say that at least in a picture use three references at a minimum. Three references is quite good. Maybe one for the background or two for the background and then if you draw a whale split it into two and use one reference for the back part and one for the front or you can just use as many references as you want it's really up to you but I often say that minimum of three references is great to create something new and not copying someone too much <laughs>
but here I'm just drawing waves and the water the surface of the water has, is always a little bit tricky to, accom to accomplish when you are drawing or at least for me but I always use different techniques to uh, reach my goal when it comes to the surface I never use the same technique it's very rarely rarely yeah it's very seldom so I I'm always more or less improvising when I'm doing the backgrounds for my orca art because I never use the same technique so it's always uh, a little treat to return to water and just try something new see if I like it and see how it goes and most often I forget forget how I did it so it's just to jump on it the next time and try to just find a way that I like and I was also, when I was drawing this, I was like, I sometimes I draw the eyes, sometimes I don't. It, it depends on the light, because it's not always visible. Orca's eyes are very small, so they aren't always so visible. But in this one I felt like I have to have something that indicates that there is an eye, because it, because it was just too light. Otherwise it goes uh, well with the black of their uh, skin. But in this one, I needed a eye. So here we have it, a finished piece. I named it Surface. Simple and plain and nothing about it, but anyways. <laughs> Here are some previous videos you can check out and if you like this videos videos and if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and I see you in the next one. Bye guys!